please subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so you don't miss out those videos thank you how's it going guys welcome to another video of real sim gaming in today's video i brought another tutorial this tutorial belongs to farming simulator 19 and as the title says you're gonna see how to install additional lights you may add one two four how many lights you like you can add to tractors and in this tutorial we will use two software basically one of them is giants editor and the second one is notepad plus plus you can skip the second one you can use the microsoft windows notepad editor but it is better to have that notepad plus plus it makes things a little easier and before we start the tutorial i would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel i need subscribers to monetize my channel so watch the video till end and if you have any problem regarding this tutorial or the others i have on my channel please comment down below i will try to reply as soon as possible and let's start this tutorial first of all what we're gonna need a tractor on which we like to install our lights so i am installing it on big butt because it lacks of lights it has a few lights on front and on back there are no lights on the cab so i would like to add some lights on the cab and show you how to do that the procedure is same the process is same nothing complicated you just have to follow my steps so first of all extract the mod you want to edit and then open it up open up the i3d file of that specific mod we are editing big bird you can edit any mod you like I have some other farming simulator useful tutorials please check them out as well. So here is our big bird and as you can see we have rear lights and four lights on the front. No cab lights. No lights on the cab or the sideways. I would like to add some on the sideways. Okay first of all We have to select the light we want to add on the tractor. We are gonna just choose the giant's lights that come with our game. No need to worry about this. You don't have to download them or find them anywhere. Just follow me. You have to open up your game directory. Go to main folder and then data. Open up shared then go to assets and then lights I'll do that again you have to go to data then go to shared and assets and then lights and then go to lizard now here you have that an image of all the lights we have in the game an important thing I want to tell you, this tutorial only works with the front lights, not the rear lights or the flashers. With the help of this tutorial, you will be able to install only the front lights or the side lights, not the rear or the flasher, beacon or strobe lights, whatever you call them. So we, we have to select any of the front lights. Like, I would like to go with this square one, they will look great. You have to just note down its name, just remember it so you can find in these lights here. It was square 4 and it is right here, working light square 4. So just select and drag that file to your giants editor where you have opened that mod before. Now. Select it and press Ctrl X. That is the command of cut and then open up main i3 and go to lights and then go to default lights. And here is the important part. You have to set them on high lights, high beam or high lights. That is how they are gonna work. If you do not select the correct part, you may miss it or it will not work in the game so we're gonna go with the highlights front highlights we have already those lights we have copied from the giants folder 
and we can now paste it press ctrl v after selecting those main lights it will be in the light section of that mode this is important do not miss that step and now you have to place the lights wherever you like you can place them on the hood or on the cab or wherever you like that is totally up to you so as I said earlier I'm going to set it on sideways it is so simple and so easy you just have to follow my steps it is so easy we will set it to minus 90 degrees and then put it on the i3d file wherever you like it where you think it suits better I think it's better that way now we will press ctrl D it will duplicate that same file and now we will remove that minus and it will create that same file on the other side of the tractor as you can see it has created that file but you have to rotate it okay so now we have placed those lights that is the main part of the 3d i3d files now we have to set those lights inside that remember we are going to work on the highlights so so press ctrl d twice here ctrl d copy it for once and ctrl d for another time so we have two duplicates of that same light that lights how it works we have copied it and now we will rename it light 2 and light 3 just remember that we have some other lights so we do not mix them up now select light 2 and pick it up then place it to your one of your lights you can either place it to right or left it doesn't matter this is the actual light which is gonna light up okay one more thing if you wanna see how it will work I'll show you just select the i3d file we have copied and then select rotation arm and then go to glass static and now go to windows and material editing now close the, mat the material editing and open custom shader and then go to light control here you can see if we increase it our light will light up light off okay that makes it clear that our light is working so now uh, we have tested our light is working we have to just correct its position and if you want to see where is your light going just select show and lights that is the light where it will go you just have to find the correct spot that makes me always harder to place that here if you know a better way you can do that the purpose is just to make it look right so we have set it to our sideways and just a little bit adjustment and its angle No. that's the one now the other one light 3 we have duplicated it and select that file take it back to our main file I see again if you find anything hard or you don't find it okay 
just ask me in the comments and I'll try to tell you as soon as possible. This is not so hard at all. Okay. So. I think we are good enough. This will do the job. Okay, the main part is done. And now the XML. Okay, now please be sure to copy same. Open up your mod folder and the mod XML. I'm using Notepad. Now try to find light. Remember I've told you before to select the high ones, not the lower ones. We are going to select the high ones. Select any of these lights and then copy that line. Press enter, add a new line and then paste it and do it once more. Press enter, add a new line and then paste. Now we will select the nodes we have created inside the i3d file and first of all we are going to select the front light height 2, we will select the index path so it will stay correct. In that way there will be no more problems or more errors and then select the front line height 3 and then paste it. The other thing we are going to do is go to default lights and then select a line from here select a line copy that and paste it and do it once more because we have two nodes and now open up your i3d file and open that 3d file go to class static and then copy the index path back to your XML file and paste it and now do it once again open up the other one rotation arm blast static and copy its index and then paste it so we have created two new lines and now save it, I have already saved it, now close this XML and close this one too. Select your camera position, I hope it works fine. save it so that's all what we're gonna do to add lights on our mods now we will copy this mod into our game and see how it looks our lights are working perfectly fine you can add as many lights you can adjust their range and have fun with that hope you liked the tutorial if you liked it Please give it a like and share it with friends. Subscribe to my channel. If you think I need support, please support me. And thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.